Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Uh, Aaron has been saying over the last few days that when he looks at Giancarlo right now, he's seen a more complete, even better hitter than when he won MVP in 2017. From your perspective, what are you seeing about the way that uh, you know, his swing is coming right around and everything like that right now? Um, he, he's, he's healthy right now, and then um, he's just been putting in the work. Um, I noticed when he really put in some work on the offensive side of things, um, he, he used the machine a lot more this time than he ever have in his career, he said. So um, he, he's, he, he's starting to learn the pitchers in the American League, and um, he, he's in a good place. And I, I, I'm right there with Booney. I think he's in a really good place, and um, hopefully he can pick up where he left off at in the postseason. And secondly, you guys together at a very uh, emotional press conference last year when you guys were talking on uh, when, when the league was celebrating Jackie Robinson Day. How impressed are you, by the way? I mean, it's obvious that he's not a player who, speaking his mind, speaking out like that comes very naturally, but how impressed are you with the way he's been able to do it over the last year? He's been great. I mean, that's just who he is. Um, he's quiet, but he, he, he does talk to people. And um, he's, he's, it came from a good place. And um, he's been through some things in his life, and um, he's, he, he's able to share it with everybody. So. Um, but I'm, I'm happy that he, he, he was able to come out and speak about what was going on. <clears throat> we go next to James Wagner. James, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Mark. It's good to see you. Thank Hope you, same as well. Um, just curious, now that you've played an entire season without in-game video, like live video, what, what did you miss about that? Did you feel a difference? And are you, I guess, in the way you describe it, excited, happy to have it back in some form you know, going forward? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to have it because it's a tool that we use um, during the game. Uh, we can, we can talk to guys about what we see during that bat. Like it's, it's, it's a lot easier if you, you can have the, have the uh, computer room and uh, video room and, and to break a swing down. But um, I'm glad we have it back and the players are, are, are excited about it. But we just got to check, check it out because it's going to be in a dugout. So we'll see um, is, it, is it the same what we have. But it's, it is something that we can use and it's a tool that we really need. <clears throat> Did it change how you were coaching guys in game, and do you think it was like hurting guys in a way, like not having it? Not, not hurting guys. Some guys use it, um, James, and I just, I just, I mean, all throughout the league. I mean, I heard it from other hitting coaches and um, other players were talking about it. But it was just um, hand we were dealt. But um, we'll get past it, and hopefully we'll um, we'll have use what they give us this year. We go to Christy Ackert next. Christy, unmute, please. Hey, Marcus. I was talking to um, the Cubs hitting coach, Anthony Iapochi, and he said the video, not having the video last year, surprised him how much it affected guys, not because they were looking for pitches, but because it affected their routines. Yeah. Did you notice that as well? I mean, like I, like I just said, like it's a tool that everybody uses. Um, we use it in the morning time when we get there. Um, in game, we use it, but um, it, it is a tool, and like every every hitter, every guy is different. But some guys really really depend on watching their swing and, and, and watching their mechanics to make sure they're in the right place. So um, it, it did affect some guys, and and but you know, like I've said, like we can't do anything about it, and just got to make sure we're prepared. And I think if you're prepared, then um, it, it's one less thing that we have to worry about. And just on another topic. You know, Gary talked a lot about what you guys did for him after the season, reworking his swing. What what were the major changes, and, and what do you see from him this spring? Um, we, we worked on some lower half stuff, um, get, making sure that he was on time. Last year, his timing was off quite a bit, and he just never could uh, regain that stroke that, that we know that he has. And um, we, we, we broke it down during the winter, and um, he's in a good place right now. Um, I like where he's at. Um, I bounced back a back and forth across the street to Heinz and here at GMS, but um, he looks good, and um, I'm ready for him to see it in the game. Thank you. You're welcome. We go to Pete Caldera next. Pete, go ahead. Marcus, just following up on, on that question with, with Gary Sanchez, did you find uh, his struggles with catching up with the fastball to, to be among the more surprising developments last year, and, and is that part of the timing issue you, you were just speaking about? Yes, if you're not on time, man, it breaks your whole swing. Your whole, all your mechanics break down. That's why you couldn't get up to the, catch up to the fastball. And that's the first thing we dove into. Like, I go and check to see what he's hitting off the fastball, and it wasn't up to part of where, he's usually, where he usually is at. But um, he, he's in a good place right now, and um, uh, he, he hit a homer today in BP. I mean, a lot of BP off of like a 95-mile-per-hour fastball up in the zone, and and I like where he's at. Um, he's been really putting in the work on both sides of the baseball, and, and he's ready to go. Thank you. We go next to Lindsey Adler. 
<clears throat> Go ahead, Lindsay. Hey, Marcus. With, you know, being at home, seeing their gas station, everything, we've talked a lot about, you know, pitching technology. <laughs> I'm curious. We don't hear it as much with hitting except for things like wearable tech, fat sensors, which I think it's a little bit more complicated with the CBA. Could you just sort of, like, give an assessment of where technology is at for hitting purposes and sort of how you are... Um, to use that with, with your players? I mean, uh, I think the Yankees have given us plenty. I mean, we have a lot. I mean, we, we don't have a gas station, <laughs> but we do have um, we do have some tech underneath that we use, and um, our players are getting used to it. And um, um, the game is growing, and we have to grow with the game, and, and we're, we're using it when we have to. We don't use it every single day, but it's there if the players need it. And, and myself and PJ, we know how to use it, and um, we just got to be prepared because you, you get players from other organizations, and they come in, and they – if they have it, I mean, if they've used it before, we just got to make sure we, we're ready. And uh, I think the Yankees are right up there with everybody getting us what we need. And I'm curious, do you do you think that you would have used technology when you were in your playing career, and what might have you tried? What might you have tried to use it to improve in your game? I mean, if anything that's going to help you, yes, I would have used it. I would have tried it if it would have helped me. Um, I would have had to get used to it, but um, there's, there's just tools in the toolbox that they're trying to help us. Be the best player that we can. Uh, best players that I mean, our players would be the best guys that they can possibly be. And, and of course, I would have tried. I mean, if it, if it was going to help my career, I was going to try. We go next to Sweeney Murdy. Sweeney. Marcus, I'm about to file a copyright for the Power Station. So if you'd like to borrow that, <laughs> we can talk. Okay? All right. Um, the new ball. Have you talked about it much? And if it has the desired results, do you see any potential changes in philosophy for hitters and how they <laughs> might go about doing things? No, uh, we're not changing our philosophy, Sweeney. We're going to control the strike zone, and we're going to try to kick up some dust when the ball is in our damage zone. Um, we used some of the balls yesterday, and um, I didn't really tell the difference. We got some powerful guys, man, and I just I don't want our guys thinking about the baseball other than hitting it. <laughs> you know, so. Um, um, I don't think it's going to be a big difference, um, but we're going to keep our, our philosophy as our philosophy. We're not getting away from that. 